It's a foolproof method, guys. A foolproof method to lose weight. There's no guessing like... Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. Guys, you might notice I'm in my kitchen right now. I, it is super early on the weekend and I'm over here with the pot on the stove, creating a whole bunch of heat. It is hot, guys, it is hot. Whew, is it hot outside and it's hotter in this kitchen. I recently watched a video by um, Breon Ansley. I think that's how you say his last name, Ansley or Ainsley. Uh, he's a professional bodybuilder, fantastic, fantastic guy. And like, I watched this video and he, and he kept saying, he was in his kitchen, he's got his pots, he's got his pans, he's doing his thing. And he's in his kitchen and he's like, Getting hot in the kitchen. It has to stay hot in the kitchen. I hope you guys' kitchen is hot all the time where you guys are. That's the only way a kitchen should be hot in there. Mm -hmm. You're cooking all the time, you're making the food all the time, you're worried about the, uh, the development and the gains all the time. I'm looking at him and I'm thinking, this guy knows what he's talking about. Like, this guy's straight up, he's, the, he's really cool, really charismatic, kind human being. Like, you can see it on his face, like he's super nice. Um, and, like, I got dr drawn in and subscribed to him right away, so... Um, the guy's, you know, he doesn't need, <laughs> he doesn't need me to advertise for him. The guy's like, you know, super famous already, but check out his channel, especially this video in particular, I'll link it up because it's kind of has to do with what I'm doing now. Um, I'll link it up in the description. So anyway, guys, this is going to be a, another installation of the weight loss mini series. Now, um, I spoke to a awesome viewer of this channel the other day and this viewer was like, you know, Joe, how do you lose weight? So I told him, listen, check out my channel. I outline every single thing that you would have to do to lose weight on this channel. And I make it very, very, I thought I made it very simple. Now, it's a series, guys. As you know, there's a playlist section on this channel. It's a series. So there's a bunch of videos because knowledge, right, is power. But sometimes in order to really make sure that your weight loss plan goes correctly, you want to take the time to explain to people exactly what they need to do in detail, right? Because I had many people ask me, Joe, how do you lose weight? Well, I can't just, you know, quickly tell you guys. It's not that simple. So the viewer of this channel took a look at the mini series and then he came to me, you know, a couple weeks later and he goes, Joe, I checked out your, your series. And I said, oh, well, I hope it helped. He goes, it's long. <laughs> and I said, yeah, it is. It's very long. Uh, and so... He goes, I, I, I said, did you get anything out of it? He goes, well, I skipped through a lot of the videos to try to pick up little things that I could, but no, it, it, I couldn't do it. It was just too long. So I said, all right, well, you know, it, it is what it is. At the end of the day, it's fine. You know, if it's too long for you, it's too long for you. So he goes, I, I think I'm going to do what one of my friends is doing, and it's working out well for them. I said, oh, what's that? He goes, Joe, there's a million ways to do the same thing. And... I agree with that. I do. I say that all the time. If you guys watch the videos that I put out, I say it all the time. There's a million ways to do the same thing. Not one thing is going to work the best for everybody, right? So he goes, my friend is two days out of the week only drinking liquid. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, so, so he goes, it doesn't matter if it's soda, water, or beer. It doesn't matter. As long as it's liquid and you're not eating physical food, and she's losing so much weight, so I'm gonna try that. So I said, all right, well, you know, do what, do what you gotta do. And I tried to explain to, to this awesome guy, um, you know, why that works, but he was, I guess, so talkative that day <laughs> that I didn't get to. So I wanted to come to you guys and say, listen, there's a million ways to do the same thing. You find what works for you in order to lose weight and, and do it, you know, everybody's different. But guys, the reason why this man starving himself for two days is working when it comes to losing weight is because number one it's new he just started doing it so he's losing a bunch of water uh number two you're starving yourself <laughs> you're starving yourself now let me put it like this what he said was if you drink enough liquid you know he said if, if, if you go ahead and drink liquid for these two days you're gonna lose weight guys depending on what you're drinking that's not true okay so if you're drinking beer like he said you're drinking soda like he said if you're drinking gatorade like he said 
and you're drinking that all day, you're, you're going to end up gaining weight because that stuff is very high in calories, okay? And liquid is not going to fill you up that long. So you're going to be drinking a ton of it and gaining a ton of weight. Now, why did this person say that it was too much effort, pretty much, to watch my videos and he would prefer to starve himself? Well, guys, it takes effort in order to get things done. It takes effort in order to lose weight. How do you lose weight? What is the series that I put up? In essence, it's eating less. That's it. So why is this guy going to lose weight if he doesn't eat for two days out of the week? He's eating less. But let me put it to you guys like this. Is it worth starving yourself? Starving yourself for two days. Starving yourself. You're fasting. I've already done fasting, so I know all about fasting. The longest I ever fasted was a week straight, and I used to intermittent fast. So for the first 12 hours of the day, I wouldn't eat. I know all about it, guys. I know all about it. So believe me when I tell you, is it worth you starving yourself for two solid days out of the week just in order for you to lose weight? Well, I don't know. Is it? It's up to you. But do you have to do that? No. It's 500 calories, guys. 500 calories. That's it. You take 500 calories out of your diet a day. You're going to lose a pound by the end of seven days. Isn't it easier to take 500 calories out of your diet a day when compared to starving yourself for two days out of the week simply to lose weight? Is it not easier to take away 500 calories? I don't know. It's up to you guys. But I think it's crazy. I think it's crazy. Not only is this guy going to end up losing muscle because he's not eating for two days out of the week, so he's going to end up losing muscle. But even more than that, chances are by the third day, when he's actually allowed to eat again, he's going to eat so much to make up for the last two days of starving himself that he's going to gain the weight back. So every week, he's going to lose a little bit of weight because he's starving himself. And he's going to gain the weight back by the third day because now he's eating the same thing. So guys, what I'm doing is waking up early on the weekend. I wanted to show you what I'm doing. Waking up early on the weekend and I'm making my food, okay? You guys know I make my food. I meal prep. I'm in a hot kitchen. I'm putting the work in, guys. I'm measuring my food, I'm counting the calories, and I'm making sure that I'm subtracting 500 calories or however many calories for you that you want to subtract from your diet. I'm subtracting that. How do you lose weight? There's no secret, guys. It's not a secret. There's a lot of myths out there like, oh, just don't eat for three days, just drink beer, <laughs> just do A, B, C, and D. There's a million different ways to do it, and there's all these myths like take these secret magical pills early in the day before you eat and you'll burn fat for 24 hours or whatever the heck is out there. But guys, all that stuff, all that stuff, 98% of it are lies, number one. And number two, it just takes some hard work. That's all it is. It just takes some hard work. If you're not willing to put the effort in by watching some videos, and learning about how calories work, what makes you lose weight. If you're not willing to put that effort in, and you're actually more willing to starve yourself for two days because it's easier mentally, well, you know, that, go ahead and do that. But is that sustainable? How long are you really going to starve yourself for two weeks, uh, for two days out of the week? How many years are you going to do that? How many months, weeks, days are you going to do that before you give up, before you end up causing yourself to become so messed up in the head because you're starving yourself for two days just to lose a couple pounds? It's easier to subtract 500 calories from your diet, but how do you know what 500 calories is? You have to track your calories. Is it that much effort to just add? Is it that much effort to just weigh some food? Guys, I'm meal prepping right now early on the weekend. I'm about to get on my stepper, okay? Because how do you lose weight? You watch the amount of calories coming in and you move more. 
That's it. That's it. That's it. You don't have to starve yourself. You don't have to stop eating bread. You don't have to intermittent fast. You don't have to do any of this stuff. You don't have to go keto and never look at a potato again. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do that stuff. You don't have to do that. 500 calories a day. But in order to do that, you need to know what you're eating first. So you track your calories to find out what you're eating, and now you subtract 500. At the end of the week, you're going to lose a pound. That's it. I'm over here on a hot summer day in a hot kitchen, and I'm about to get on my stepper. It takes work, guys. It takes work. I'm not saying that you can't intermittent fast. I'm not saying you can't starve yourself for two days out of the week. Guys, I've done every diet on this planet. And that's why I'm trying to tell you guys, you don't have to go crazy. Simply watch what you're taking in as far as calories. And then take a little bit of that away. Instead of just randomly starving yourself for a certain amount of days throughout the week in order to lose a couple pounds. But that's up to you. You know what I mean? Everybody's got their own journey, their own path, their own ways of doing things. If something works for you, then do it. But I can guarantee, I am like 99% sure this guy is going to end up not only gaining weight because of the way he's going about doing things, he's going to end up causing himself a lot of emotional and mental stress along with it. When all you have to do is subtract 500 calories a day from your diet. That's it. So anyway, guys, I get asked all the time, Joe, how'd you lose so much weight? How do you keep the weight off? Guys, I meal prep. I count the calories in my food. I wake up early on my weekends and I cook for days in advance. And I make sure that the food that I eat is high quality food. Lots of vegetables, lots of fruit, lots of protein. And I indulge, guys. If you guys look at my cheat days, I indulge. I just recently came back from a trip with my wife, um, and we went out on both days, Saturday and Sunday. We went out, I ate like a pig, greasy, fatty food. I could still see my abs the next day. Why? Because I'm putting in the work. I don't overindulge. I'm balanced, okay? So I wanted to put this out there to let you guys know that you don't have to starve yourselves. You don't have to lose your minds to lose weight. It's a foolproof method, guys. A foolproof method to lose weight. There's no guessing like, oh, maybe I should stop eating for one day out of the week, two days out of the week, three days a week. Maybe maybe I should not eat for 12 hours a day, 16 hours a day, blah, blah, blah. I have a foolproof method for you. It's watch what you're taking in and move more. Move more. That's it. Become an active person, okay? It's foolproof where keto fails, Atkins fails, where starving yourself fails, where intermittent fasting fails, where all these things fail. Doesn't it make sense to know what you're putting in your body at the end of the day? Doesn't it make sense to want to know? I would want to know. So track your calories, figure out what you're taking in, in general, and then subtract 500 calories from that, and then move forward from there, guys. You don't have to make losing weight miserable, you just have to put in that effort. And it's really not that much effort. 500 calories can come down to a couple of cans of soda. All right, guys, so I hope this helped. I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Be safe, I'll catch you all at the next video.